Hello everybody and welcome back to Pasta the TV. Back in 2023, the world was introduced to the Candyland series. This was a series of animated short films featuring animatronic theme park characters similar to the Five Nights at Freddy's series. And almost overnight, Candyland exploded. It was getting millions of views over on TikTok, the animations were getting millions of views on YouTube, and everyone was really excited to see what would come of this series. I remember when I first saw the Candyland TikToks and I was blown away by the level of quality. What most people didn't know then is that Candyland was an NFT project. That's why when in April of 2023, when a game trailer dropped for Candyland, it was met with equal parts excitement and backlash. The gaming community is known to not support NFTs or cryptocurrency, and there have been dozens of examples of game companies trying to implement NFTs into their games and getting huge amounts of backlash. And even though Candyland did receive some negative press for this, it was the general consensus that the animation and the character designs for Candyland were so good that people were genuinely excited for this game to come out. Unfortunately, it's been about a year and a half since the game trailer dropped and we have learned nothing else about the game. No new information, no release date, no updates. The company has been radio silent. And now all that we get from the Candyland team are things like this. Like, what even is that? And one of the main reasons why people were so upset about the game trailer that Candyland released is because it's just a 3D animation to look like a first-person horror game, and there's no actual gameplay or playable parts in the trailer. Now, you all know my personal opinions on NFTs, and I have talked about the NFT side of Candyland in a couple of videos, but today I want to focus on the game aspect of Candyland and talk about some behind-the-scenes stuff that I have obtained. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, ring that bell, it really helps. Now let's jump into it. After I posted my first Candyland video on this channel, I was messaged by a member of the Candyland team. In these conversations, I did receive some small yet very important updates on the game and on a lot of aspects of Candyland. The game itself does have a Steam page, and you can wishlist it, it says it's in early development, but there isn't really much information there. This Steam page has been active since the trailer dropped in April of 2023. And whenever I look into the comments of any of Candyland's posts, it's all just people asking about the game. That is what people are excited for, that's what people want. So when I was messaged, I asked about the game and this is what I was told. So NFTs right now are the way the team used to fund the game and series and to hire animators. Yes, the NFTs right now are dead. We're now trying to make new events and shorts to make things more interesting for the viewers. The series is the main objective because of YouTube views that also help to fund the game. It's practically a sequence of give and receive to then give the last thing. For now, the game. They continued saying, so Candyland was originally an NFT project, not a game or series. The game and series wasn't even in the plans, but some guys in the old Discord insisted for it to happen, so the team decided to use the NFTs to fund the game and series. They weren't ready for it, and now having problems with time because of it. They're trying their best to maintain a promise they made to the Web2 guy. And honestly, this makes sense. Since Candyland was originally an NFT project and that was their plans of funding the game and the series, and NFTs plummeted in price, they lost their funding. That's why we don't see these long form story based animations anymore and also why we haven't been updated on the game. But I did also learn that they are trying to hire animators and hire developers and really make this project happen. And depending on the direction the team takes here, this could end up being the No Man's Sky of mascot horror. A bit of a deceptive start that gets them a lot of negative press, but then they build back that goodwill with the community and push out something really awesome. The mascot horror genre doesn't have many big names. That's why Candyland with its broad appeal and interesting characters would fit so perfectly. So according to the team, the game still is in development, and they even have full areas and puzzles completely designed. And another thing that I got that I want to share with you guys is some behind the scenes concept art and animations. Even though the NFT side of Candyland caused a lot of backlash and the future of the project is uncertain, one thing most people can agree on is that the animation and the characters are top tier. And out of all those characters, Susie Snacktime is probably the most recognizable face. When I asked about Susie, I was told, in the early stages, our vision was clear. We aimed to create an endearing candy girl who embodied the spirit of Candyland. We wanted Susie to be the epitome of charm and sweetness, with key design elements to give her a unique look. These included peppermint or candy-inspired hair, roller skates, a prominent heart symbol, and a delightful accessory like a flower to complete her look. The design process posed unique challenges, especially when it came to Susie's hair and facial structure. 
Choosing the right hairstyle wasn't so easy. We actually went through nearly 20 different styles. And as you can see through all this concept art, they put a lot of time and effort into perfecting what Susie's snack time looked like, changing her hair and facial features and outfit, even giving her cat ears at one point. But this, in my opinion, is what makes it so sad that we haven't received many updates. The characters have so much love and effort put into them that anyone would love to see them in a video game form. They were even willing to share this behind the scene footage of the Suzy Snack Time animation video, with some of the assets not yet textured and just showing a piece of the process. When looking at some of the other behind the scenes footage, you can tell that a lot of love and care was put into it. This behind the scenes video here of the backstage from episode 1 has brilliant lighting, really good models and coloring, and I understand why a lot of people are so excited to want to play a game in this universe. They were even willing to share a first person view of Suzy Snack Time's backstage room, and I can imagine myself walking through this room looking for secrets or lore hints while playing the game, and there are multiple other behind the scenes images and videos that they shared with me that I will show on screen right now. Do I think that Candyland will ever receive a game? Uh, I'm not sure. I want to hold on to hope just because it is such a cool concept and the characters and the world seem so awesome, and I can really see an idea like this taking off. It's just hard for me and a lot of other people in the gaming community to latch on to an IP that was originally an NFT project just because of the track record of most crypto and NFT projects in the gaming space. But that doesn't mean it's impossible. They seem to be willing to reach out and take the word of fans. I just hope that they can find another means of funding that allows them to take tackle this project. The Candyland team has millions of fans that want this, and they have struck gold when it comes to a community. It would be an absolute shame if they were to squander that community and squander that trust. The other characters such as Candy Kangaroo are also really endearing, and they all have the potential to be very terrifying like in every good mascot horror game. With so many people invested in these characters and in this world, I do really hope we get updates soon and that the game does eventually come to fruition. Despite its origins as an NFT project, there are so many passionate fans for this series. With so much beautiful fan art and creative lore theories already existing, it could stand on the shoulders of Five Nights at Freddy's and Poppy Playtime and become a true mascot horror staple. My advice to the Candyland team would be, just stop the NFTs. I know Candyland was originally an NFT project, so you can't really just stop. You have NFT holders and backers and things like that that you need to consider, but since the NFT scene is basically dead and it's gotten the series nothing but negative backlash, I would say it's probably time to switch gears. Focus on the game, focus on the animations, get your funding through YouTube views or start a Patreon or a Kickstarter. That can garner you a lot of goodwill and fund the project. But I just wanted to give you guys this quick update and if I learn more, I will let you guys know. Tell me what you think about about this down in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time.